This is gonna be episode two of the carbon fiber turbo fans. We've made the pre-preg uh, first bowl shape in the first episode. Now we're gonna to get to finishing all the fins. So in the first episode, we made our first pre-preg part, made this boldish shape off of a metal mold. I just did the exact same thing for this center section and just popped it off the mold and then I epoxied it to the base. So these are like the, the fins, I guess, that's gonna help diverge the air. Yeah, and so for the fins, I needed a flat sheet and we had never used the CNC machine before, so I was like, I'm gonna first project might as well be some carbon stuff. <laughs> so for the fins, I actually found a piece of glass that's the exact, like a perfect size, I could fit 10 fins on it. And I took six sheets thick of this 3K pre-preg carbon fiber from fiberglass. Mm -hmm. Thank you, fiberglass, you guys rock. They sent us all this stuff just to experiment with pre-preg. It's usually very expensive, so awesome. <laughs> um, and we, so I, I made, I took six layers, I vacuum bagged it all in a bag, baked it again, same exact cycle in an oven, and then popped that out, and then I went on the 3D CAD software that I have, and I basically made these same little shapes. This is actually too small. This is on a test piece. Oh, uh, okay. My AirPods are talking to me. Serious shit. First, but I did a couple trial cuts before I made these ones, which are, I think, uh, uh, one twenty percent bigger than this one, or twenty percent this size. Um, but to get this, actually, I cut a piece of foam and I matched the actual profile of the uh, of the side of the bowl and everything like that. And then I did the same thing for the inside of the lip. And then through a lot of trial and error and the 3D software, I found this shape to be the perfect shape. And then I ended up doing a bunch of stuff to finally get it onto the, the CNC machine. machine, but. What was that process like? A lot of trial and error, because I didn't really know what I was doing, but, but it's good. So I literally cut this out as a piece of cardboard, traced it onto my iPad, sent it over to my computer, dropped that photo in my uh, Fusion 360, traced that, and then did a couple, uh, took a couple of measurements of each flat section of it, because that was mm -hmm. like an easier section to measure, and made sure as I expanded it, it met the criteria of this stuff. Now that we have our fins on our turbo fan, the last thing I have to do is just epoxy them on. Cool thing about this fan is that um, it's only held on by the original, well, this is actually the original, but it's held on by the, the same hex cap. I have an original hex cap. I was just about to ask, how are you gonna go about right following this? But this you boys old and it's got some tape on it. So the hex cap just goes through here. And then all RS's have a threaded insert. So this will sit like against it like that. It's nice and snug. I was talking with Greg, I might actually run a little thin piece of rubber or something like that. Something to like lock it down so it doesn't try to spin. Cause it's okay. gonna be pushing some air. But the point of a turbo fan is to actually suck air in from behind your brakes from behind the wheel well and just pull it out. If it's one to cool your brakes or just to evacuate air, people like to say their turbo fans are either designed for one or the other, but when it's doing one, it's really doing both. I designed a, uh, a cool, like, it's like an outline of these exact same little, uh, look at the basket weave shape as a sticker decal to put on like two sections of this, kind of as a homage to it. Plus it is the literal wheel that is behind it as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I ordered them and they're not here yet. So we're not gonna wait, we're just gonna put it together. But basically, so what I did was just tape one side and we're gonna continue on and just run a line of epoxy down here. I'm gonna use one of these filleting tools, which will just like make a nice, even rounded beat. Yeah, bead across it. Um, then we're gonna wait five, 10 minutes before that to dry. Then we'll peel it all up and then we'll do the other side. And then we're gonna mount it up and see what this thing looks like on it. Cause I have not mounted it with any of these fins. I mounted this one without any fins and it looked a little funky because it's just a floating funky. disc. As everyone thought it was a salad bowl. <laughs> yeah.
she done? So well, until we get the decals on it. I mean, I know what's going down now. All the edges are epoxied. I didn't mention this before, but the back half of the both domes, I sanded and did a quick just coat of uh, matte clear. But let's see what she weighs. Just over a pound. <laughs> 1.07. Like how light. It's like this is crazy strong. Yeah. I think because each of these ribs actually is helping the rigidity of it as well. My test with looks it. Looks wild. I'm very happy with this. Yeah. But so let's uh, go test with it. That is the carbon fiber pre-preg turbo fan build complete. Uh, big thank you for everybody buying the uh, merch from us, industrygarage.com, that's where you can get it. Uh, it's super helpful to us, more helpful than the uh, YouTube ad revenue and stuff like that since we're a small channel right now. But in the next episode, Connie gets a makeover. Subscribe, link in the description.